So the take home from this, if you're sitting there and you're worried about saturated fats in your diet, don't. Full stop. But some of you still probably don't comprehend the connection between saturated fats and cholesterol. And I know in the clinic every day, I see patients every week and they ask me, but what about cholesterol? But what about cholesterol? We've got this uh, paradigm in our head that cholesterol is terrible. So let's have a look at what cholesterol is. You can see this here. This is a molecule on the left. Now, that's what cholesterol looks like. If I take away just one atom, it ceases to be cholesterol. So when we talk about good and bad cholesterol, it makes no more sense than if we're talking about good and bad water molecules. It just is. That's what it is. Now, cholesterol is absolutely essential. Most of it is actually made by our body, about 75% of it. So it's seen in every cell membrane. It makes up about 30% of our cell membranes. Without it, we die. It forms the basis of our steroid hormones. It forms the basis of vitamin D. It's necessary for bile acids. It really is an essential structure. Without cholesterol, we die. Now, when we're normally talking about cholesterol in common parlance, we're not meaning cholesterol. We're not talking about this. We're talking about something far more complex. We're talking about something called lipoproteins. Now, to understand what lipoproteins are, we need to understand that fat is essential for life and it has to travel around the body. But it doesn't dissolve in the blood. Fat is insoluble. So what that means is that if we just released fat into the body like that, which sometimes happens medically, you end up with what's called a fat embolism, where the fat will clump, it'll block the blood vessel, and that's bad news bear. So to get around this, we have these magnificent structures called lipoproteins. Now, you need to think about them as like submarines, where they carry their fat cargo around our circulation. So you can see on the picture here that we've got an inside cargo. It's carrying fat cholesterol, triglycerides, vitamins, antioxidants, several things. We've also got a very complex uh, outer membrane here where we've got several proteins embedded within it. Now, I want you to take note of the embedded proteins because we're going to come back to that. That is essential to understanding how they work. These are what we call the signalling molecules. Now, there's several different types of lipoproteins, and the differences are based on their size, the amount of triglycerides and cholesterol that they carry, and the type of proteins that are embedded within the walls. But the two that I want to focus on today are HDL and LDL. Now, these three lipoproteins in the middle here, they're all essentially the same. They all have that same marker on them. So what actually happens is it begins, it leaves the liver with a load of triglycerides, starts as a VLDL, and then as it moves around the circulation, it gets rid of some stuff and swaps some stuff around, and it ends up shrinking in size. And it progresses through being an IDL to end up as a low-density lipoprotein. Same molecule, but we tend to think about them as being differently. It's just a, the same molecule on a different pathway. 